What's good YouTube? It's your girl Talia from BJ and Talia and today we got a cooking video for y'all. We seen that y'all really liked our last cooking video so <clears throat> we decided to give y'all another baking video. Today we're going to be cooking, sorry for the lighting, we're going to be cooking Oreo cookies from scratch. So we got all our ingredients. BJ right here, y'all favorite. What's good? Two family, how are y'all? Today we're going to cook these cookies. From scratch, cuz. From scratch, cuz. He was in my way, y'all. Period. So we about to set the camera up and show y'all the beginning process and all the ingredients. First, me and Tilly gotta get this other food out of the oven because we always leave food in the oven. We do. Um, we do. Right, we just... Guilty. We be, <laughs> we be trying to preheat the oven, then be like, it's then we put there. something in there. But yeah, we're gonna hit y'all back once we got everything set up. Okay, y'all. The ingredients we got butter, we got baking soda, we got cream cheese, and this type of stuff you, they say you keep it at um, room temperature. So the butter as well, the butter especially. Two eggs, corn starch, the best of the best, white chocolate chips. Light brown sugar, Oreos, and we do have regular sugar, and we just got some cups, ice cream cream for the little shadow thing, a pan for show, and we got some all-purpose flour. If you forget any of these ingredients, you will not have any cookies. So let's get into this thing. Okay guys, the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 before you start anything. And right now I'm about to just break down the measurements for each ingredient before I even start. So you're gonna need about two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of salt, um, two cups of chopped Oreos, which will be about 14, 15 cookies. You need about one cup of your chocolate chips. You need one cup of butter, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, three-fourths cup of regular sugar, two eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I know y'all probably thinking, like, what's the cream cheese for? Well, we've seen the cream cheese in a separate the video that we were watching so we wanted to give it a try so we're just gonna add a little cream cheese probably like uh, a tablespoon or so just a little and yeah the first thing we're gonna do after this is mix up our wet ingredients which will be the one cup of butter the vanilla extract the brown sugar and the eggs oh we also have a a mixer now, so y'all can stop joining on us about us mixing with our hands. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, right now we're about to start adding up our wet ingredients. So while he is mixing everything, I'm gonna be adding the ingredients. So right now I'm adding a three fourths cup of brown sugar.
the women ingredients are mixed and looking. Mmm. So right now we're gonna set this to the side and mix up the dry ingredients. First, we're gonna add two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cornstarch. One half teaspoon of salt. I'm not gonna fill that completely because when you have fine salt, you're not supposed to put as much. So I'm gonna just shake some out. Lastly, I'm gonna do one half cup of white chocolate chips. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Feel a little bit. Know how we do. And Love is about to show y'all the Oreos. I really don't like chunks, but I guess I'm going to do it. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> so what you doing? I'm um, breaking them in chunks? Yeah. I don't like I'm chunks. Sure. Okay. What you doing? You got to see how he's breaking them. He don't like chunks, but we're going to try it this time. It's probably going to be what we need it to be. I hope so. <laughs> I don't like, you know, I don't really know chunk, chunk fish. <laughs> Chunks. Okay. Actually done. Put, uh, do the chunk Oreos, y'all. The chunk Oreos. And we're gonna put it back. This. You sure you want to just put it in there? Now give them a mix. Mix that thing on up. I hear the cornstarch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, now we're about to slowly add in the flour mixture while I'm mixing it. I know y'all saw we didn't use this. Ignore this, <laughs> please. Okay, right now we're about to spray our pan. It's already not a stick, we just spray it. Just two times. But two times. Uh, this is what we use in case y'all the best of the best. And we're just gonna scoop onto the pan. You might use some big cookies, but. Ooh, y'all didn't even get that. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Sorry, y'all. 
If you ever tired at work, you can't get up out of sleep. And you don't want to use no monster or none of that. B12. Natural. Natural. B12. B12, man. Take you a shot of that. Hey, no. So we're going to keep scooping. I'm going to do a few. Love going to do a few. Hey guys, we got all that we could fit on our pan. And right now we just about to scoop the rest of it, put them in a container. We're gonna freeze them and then store them for later because we know we're not gonna eat all those tonight. It's literally just us two. So as y'all can see what he doing, like we said, don't mind the hands. They've been washed and it's just us two. But I know it looks it's, dirty cause I don't sticky. know why he ain't using a thingy. What thing? The scooper. That's what I thought you told me to use. <laughs> okay. I did. I don't know. Y'all, yeah, don't mind y'all. That's why y'all always put Team Tali in the comments, no matter what. Because yeah, what I get shit done. Okay, y'all, BJ have put the cookies in the oven. You're going to bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're just going to put our timer on 12 just to be safe. Okay, you guys, these are the cookie balls that we're going to store. We're about to freeze them and just store them for the next time because, like we said before, it's way too many cookies. we also just about to clean up, get all our stuff up in our area clean. And by the time then, the cookies should be ready. <laughs> okay you guys this is the finishing product you let the cookies sit for around mm. 20 minutes mm. Mm, mm, mm. pick one up wow. homemade nothing like it mm. quick taste test mm. wait Oh my lord. Mmm. 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 Mm. Ready? Mmm. Oh my god, bro. Still dropping this all flow though. Nothing like that homemade. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Damn. Ten out of ten. Oh baby. Highly recommend. Alright, you guys, this is the end of this video. Mm. <laughs> We hope y'all enjoy. Clearly, he's enjoying them cookies. We hope y'all enjoy. We hope y'all try this at home. Let us know about any cooking videos y'all want us to try in the comments below. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all what? Turn that post notification bell on because if you miss it right here, I'm telling you now. <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> it's OB. Mm. Special shout out to Billionaire Customs, Billionaire Glamour, 
BG Boutique and Take Over Incorporated. All those descriptions will be down below. As y'all can see, we always rocking it, whether it's Slim Jim or whether it's a pop out night, we always rocking our brand. So make sure y'all go support that. But, oh, all the colors, right? All oh, the colors. Look, everything. <laughs> But we hope y'all enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.